Okay guys, we're back. I literally have not took a step since the last thing. So let's get this started. That was creepy. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. The water's kind of pretty though, so... All right, the first part was pretty easy. Oh. There's nothing over here. Alright, I can't push that over. I have played the game before, but it hasn't been for a while, so I won't remember everything. Not even close. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Of course he is. Psychological thriller. Not a horror game. Even though it, they probably shouldn't call it somewhat of a horror game. It's not, the, it's not really that scary, but still. All right, that was easy. Ah, here we go. Am I supposed to be able to tell what that says? I mean, look at that. It's not even an arrow. Oh, this one's an arrow. I remember getting stuck here the first time for the longest time. So I, I might get stuck again. Well, that's wonderful. There's nothing up here. Alright, whatever. Yeah, I'm probably going to get stuck here again. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Come on. Wait, pick it up! Yep, he, he refuses. Oh, I'm, I'm full. Okay. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site.
My head's getting hot from my headset. Oh, I'm getting triple teamed. Get out of my face. That's good. Ooh, shotgun. I don't have any ammo for it though, so might as well save it. <sighs> I heard them before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. I think I remember there either being an enemy out here or surprised there wasn't. Okay. What's over here? Woohoo! Now, I know that those arrows were pointing to it, so I guess before I leave, I'm going to try one last time to see what the fuck they were pointing at. Maybe I have to move the thing first and then it does something? I don't know, but as far as I can see, there's nothing up here. Oh, well, I got egg on my face. Okay, whatever, shit happens. Oh, there were some words. Uh, taken. taken. They're taken. I don't know what that means by that, but sure. Go into the house. Hmm. I was expecting there to be a fight. Oh, that hurt me, bullshit. That, that, that reminds me, this game seriously lacks a, uh, a, health, a health pack that you can carry around. Like, you, you should be able to carry health packs or something. The game severely lacks one. I wasn't sure what to do here the first time I did it. Alright, that looks good. Here we go, Superman jump. Animist. 
einen brauche ich. Okay, that was embarrassing. All right, Superman jump part two. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, I thought I thought I remember being one of these in here. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night! I I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment, step outside for a spell, and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm a I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but... Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And, Toby's, and Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we were pretty far from home, and it sounded like he went pretty wild there. Great dog. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. You have a good, have a good night now. Is that it? All right, looks like it's it. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. I should probably look over here. Nothing. Nothing obvious. Is there a truck here? Oh, well, that's not creepy. What now? Bullshit. Look, look, who, who, who the fuck makes that arrow? My god, it looks like fucking Stumpy did it. Well, there's nothing over here. I don't know, whatever. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Gotta hurry. What bullshit? Oh, yep, I'm ge I'm getting butt fucked. I can't I can't run. Yep, I'm stuck. Yep, that literally that just happened.
What? The enemies didn't spawn this time? Are, are, are you serious? Oh, I had no idea this game had random enemies. Well, I mean, it was bullshit. They, they got me cornered and there was nothing I could do. I want rechargeable lithium batteries. They just recharge as you're using it. Oh, hello. station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Still, that fight with the shit was, was bullshit. They got me cornered and there was nothing I could do. Anyways, I'm going back to look around. Hoping enemies don't spawn. Oh, uh, as I say that. Look at that dodge. Alright, it doesn't look like, doesn't look like there's probably anything, so... I need to remember how to change the batteries. Okay. That's why. I remember I think this was the first one I found in my first game. I don't think I found the one at the beginning. Oh god, fuck me. No, get me in there. Whew. Okay. We're safe. Demonstrate that very courage. 
Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment, known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris, or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Human curiosity often kills the cat. It night sprays. Bye.